Hi everyone, welcome to Belinda's DIYs. Today I'm gonna to be creating a fall home decor for you, so let's get started. I'll be using these items. The first thing is this tin planter and two circles from this checker game. And I'll also be using this scarecrow with this welcome sign and this is a fall decor from Dollar Tree. Two pieces from this tower game some Waverly chalk paint in the color white, and this other acrylic paint in the color burnt umber. And I'll be using the stick from this shovel and I'll be using two of them. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is create the wheel for the wheelbarrow. And I'm gonna be using these two round circles and what I'm gonna do is hot glue them together. Before that I glue the two pieces together, I am going to insert a piece of brown foam board that I cut out. And the reason is because I need for the glues to have something to hold on and to stick to. If you just use the two round circles, there's nothing in the middle so it's hard for the glues to adhere. So that's why I decided just to add this piece of foam board in between. And I'll be using some super glue and hot glue. Okay, so now that I created my wheel, I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside for now. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is remove the handle off the shovel. And I'm also gonna remove the label off the handle. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint them with the white chalk paint, and I already painted this other one that I had from another previous project. And I'm only gonna give it one coat of paint and then let it dry. Next, I'm gonna be painting these two pieces from the tower game and also the planter. Okay, so the paint is dry from all my pieces and I did just give them one coat of paint. Okay, so now I'm ready to assemble my wheelbarrow and I am gonna turn my planter upside down and I'm gonna place both of the handles down at the bottom this way and I am gonna use some hot glue and some super glue. The hot glue is just so that it can have a quick hole and of course the super glue is so that it can have the permanent hold. So I'm gonna start with the super glue first and then I'm gonna go on with the hot glue and I'm gonna put a generous amount of hot glue because there is a gap between the handle and the planter. Um, I wanna fill that gap and that's why I'm gonna use plenty of hot glue. Next, I'm gonna add the little pieces of wood and they're gonna be right there underneath the handle and I'm gonna be using some super glue and some hot glue. Next, I'm gonna be adding the wheel between the two handles right there where they both meet. I did use some super glue and a generous amount of hot glue. And this is how it's looking so far. I do want to show you that I did add a piece of popsicle stick between the two handles just to give the wheel just some extra reinforcement. And here I just want you to see all the hot glue that I use just to fill in that gap. Okay, so the next thing that I did is cut out the word welcome from this welcome sign. And then I trimmed it up just so that it would fit my wheelbarrow. Okay, so I ended up removing some of the thread on the edges because I wanted it to look raw on the edges. And I also outlined the word welcome with a Sharpie. Okay, so let me tell you really quickly what happened. I wanted to give this wheelbarrow a rustic look and I had put some of that burnt umber around the wheelbarrow, but I didn't really like how it looks. So what I'm doing here is just gonna paint the center part of the wheelbarrow and also remove some of those spots on the handles. Okay, so now I went ahead and I added some of that burnt umber on the edgings on the top and the bottom. And then I added the welcome sign. I do apologize that I don't have the footage for that. Well, 
that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.